Hello, in this tutorial I'm gonna explain what intents are, how to use it and how to create some intents. First of all, what are intents? Intents are messages which allow application components to request functions from the other Android components. Also remember, intents are also object types. You can code them and send the Android system defining the components you are targeting. When you use an intent, you need an action and all also an activity. For example, an activity can start an external activity for taking a picture. Also an intent can contain data and the data can be used by the receiving component. In short, you can use intents to trigger some activities directly. First of all, I'm gonna show you some examples. I'm gonna use auto voice and auto share for this one. First of all, I'm gonna make a note, for example. Make a keep note Hello, how are you? And you will see right here, my keep will open and it will directly type hello, how are you? So that's quite easy. This is way faster than opening keep than typing inside that note, the text that I just said. So as you see, intents are way faster. This is the first example. The second example will be open a conversation with Hangouts with a defined person and also write a text. Let's try this. Open Hangouts with myself, write this is a test. And you will see it will automatically send that message to Hangouts. So that's quite easy and quite powerful. So those were some examples. Now the second part is how can you create something like that. For this example I gonna use some apps. And we gonna use interception. Because that's the easiest way to find some intents. For this one you need auto share. Because auto share is based on intents. You can find that plugin inside the community of Joe Ideas. When you have installed AutoShare, you will be able to intercept things. Also, I tested with another app. In this case, I also installed Intent Intercept. That's another app, but it will do the same thing as AutoShare Intercept. So, when you open that, you will see here Action, Type, Flex, Extra. But inside AutoShare, we can create something like this. How can you use this one? That's quite easy. Let me open for example YouTube. Here I am inside my YouTube app and you will see here the share button. When you click on something like that, you can share it with other applications. Plex, Allcast, Bluetooth, Convert to PDF, etc. etc. So in this case, we are gonna use a share intent. So when we click for example Intent Intercept, you will see here the action will be Android point intent point action point sent. The data is null. We're gonna use text plain. We have also some flags and we have also extras. So the extras is the value of for example your YouTube. Here you see the second extra and you will see also the link or the URL. So you can share that with other things. Once you know something like that, it's quite easy to create an intent for auto share. Also the other way is for example Click on the share button and click on auto share intercept and then click again on auto share intercept like this one and then it will copy that intent okay that's another way you can do it now auto share how can you create some intents let me open auto share right now and here i'm inside auto share and you will see here manage your intents you can also browse intents but in this case you can create your own intents by clicking manage your intents for this example i going to use that last one keep create a keep note when I long press you will see here rename delete set categories set app set action sets data sets type target package class etc etc so what do we need for creating that intent first of all we have to set the action and in that case was the action Android point intent point action point sent. The second one was the class and the class is the activity and the activity is com point google point android point 
keep point activities point editor activity that's the class or the activity and what do we need also is the package the package is here com point google point android point keep okay and then we also needed an extra for our text so when i click on that intent you will see here text so when i long press that you will see here set description i've created here enter here our text and the key is android intent point extra point text so all, all that information can be found when you use intent intercept or auto share intercept I also made a tutorial in the past how to find some activities so please watch that also that can be useful for this one as well so in that case we use quick shortcut maker you can find that also inside the Google Play Store that's the app we used for seeing some activities as well remember you can create some intents as well for creating a new one you saw before I opened the keep intents but you can create them also just by clicking the plus and follow the instructions that's quite easy when I go back to tasker right here I have two profiles and also two tasks for example the right keep note is quite easy it's just one action and that's the auto share intent so what I'm doing right here is quite easy the configuration was the app was the keep as you see right here I created that one and the action was also create a keep note and the text enter your text is here the variable message but if you didn't create a new intent inside auto share you can use just simply click by advanced use last intercept when i click on that it will be all filled in for example we intercept a youtube video and you will see here something like that and then you can use that so this is how you can intercept intents and use them another example was for example the hangouts the hangouts is very difficult there are also several ways to do that I probably will make a separated tutorial for creating something like that so in this case we used auto contact auto share weight secure settings control V keyboard I used also some d-pads but the important thing is the second one the auto share so when I go back to my auto share you will see also here hangouts hangout conversation when I long press that one, you will see here set action is Android point intent point action point view. The data will be something variable. I'm setting that inside my task, not inside this intent, but that will be a variable. The package will be just com point google point android point talk. The class will be com point google point android point apps point babel point phone point babel profile action activity okay so when you use that you have to retrieve the right person to open a conversation with them. so those were some examples of using intents and intercepting intents so remember the easiest way to use intents is with an interception so install auto share and use auto share intercept or you can also use intent intercept and when you click on the share button for example the share intent you can use that interception also for example the other way that I did it to find the right person for example to open a hangout switch is for example this one you will see here my name when I click on my name you will see also view contact and you will see also other possibilities for example I'm gonna open my contact so when I click on view Google Plus profile and then you will see here a new menu new pop up auto share auto share command auto share intercept google plus intent intercept for example when i use intent intercept just once you will see here the information of your contact you will see here for example the data that you need to use for opening a conversation so that's what you need to do so i hope you like this video this is not quite easy if you like this video give it a thumbs up on youtube and if you have any questions or comments you can leave that on my google plus community or youtube channel see you later bye